December 2021, actress Kiki Palmer snagged a new home in Studio City, Los Angeles for $1.4 million. Strangely enough, the 2,600 square foot abode once belonged to Kiki's former Nickelodeon co-star Jeanette McCurdy up until 2016. The 1980s home has a compact, if not almost non-existent yard, which allows for low-key maintenance, along with fresh and stylish interiors that were recently upgraded. Meanwhile, on the East Coast, Kiki maintains a beautiful Brooklyn penthouse she bought in 2020 for $2.35 million, and today we're gonna take a look at her properties. Kiki Palmer is an actress, singer, and TV personality who got her start playing Queen Latifah's niece in Barbershop 2 back to business and is well known for her roles in comedy drama productions. Kiki has starred in movies like Aquila and the Bee and plenty of others, including more recently co starring alongside JLo in Hustlers. Being a child star, she further received recognition for her roles on Nickelodeon shows like True Jackson. VP. At the time of this recording, Kiki has amassed a net worth of about $7.5 million, allowing her to invest in some beautiful properties both in LA and New York. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here at Famous Entertainment. And in this one, we're checking out the homes of Kiki Palmer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Kiki just purchased a new home base in Los Angeles, more specifically in the Studio City area, and the compact property was once owned by one of her Nickelodeon co-stars as well. From 2013 to 2016, Jeanette McCurdy of iCarly fame called the crib home and then sold it to a non-famous individual who then just sold it to Kiki. Jeanette and Kiki starred together on the series True Jackson VP. Kiki snagged this home for $1.4 million, and while it was built in 1987, it's been freshened up and updated since. The actress's home is located at the end of a quiet enclave in the hills of Studio City and described as a beautiful Mediterranean home, which is perched above the road and snugly set into this small piece of property. Inside, living spaces span 2,600 square feet of space with three bedrooms and 2.5 bathrooms throughout. This stucco-covered home has been repainted in a trendy dark gray color, which adds some contrast to the red tiled roof. Interiors, on the other hand, are open and airy, with red tinted hardwood floors and cream walls throughout. Right from the street, a set of steep and winding stairs leads you to the landing in front of Kiki's bright orange front door. Once inside, there's no foyer and the door opens right into a large combined living space. There's a sunny dining area right in front where there's also currently a piano and to one side, the living room with fireplace. In the living room, you'll also find plenty of windows and plush couches. Kiki can also cook her favorite meals in the fully equipped kitchen that comes complete with stainless appliances, granite countertops, and snack bar seats. There's even a casual dining nook off to one corner, while the kitchen opens to a cozy den with fireplace. Aside from the guest bedrooms, her home has a private office which could alternatively be used as a fourth bedroom. Kiki's master suite occupies the penthouse level of the home and boasts a glass shower and a built-in soaking tub. Moving outside, sets of French doors open to a small backyard space where you'll find nice terrace areas including a wooden patio with an outdoor fireplace and space for a barbecue. There's also another concrete patio above it and while Kiki may not have a pool, there is a covered jacuzzi. Not to mention the jacuzzi is covered so the neighbors can't watch you from above. Kiki is a bi-coastal celebrity who splits her time between Los Angeles and New York City. In addition to her new Studio City crib, she also bought a $2.4 million apartment in the Big Apple in 2020. The Hustlers star snagged the penthouse during the pandemic and it was no doubt a luxury retreat to hide out at, spanning 1,482 square feet with three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. The apartment was designed by Paris Farino and is located in the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn in a nine-story building. Kiki's crib boasts high ceilings, oak flooring throughout, and two outdoor terraces. Not to mention other amenities accessible to residents include a landscaped garden, private cabanas, common roof 
rooftop area and a penthouse lounge. Kiki now has both a home in LA and in New York to enjoy her perfect night in when she's not busy working. The actress explained that her perfect night at home would include pizza, old movies, water or maybe even some wine and her bed. Well in either of her stunning homes that sounds like the ideal hangout for sure. Alright so now we've checked out two of star Kiki Palmer's homes including her new purchase in Studio City LA. We know that she also owns that penthouse apartment in Brooklyn, New York which she bought in 2020 but unfortunately no photos of the interiors have been revealed aside from the glimpses she's given us on social media. After checking out her new house in Studio City, what did you like best about it? Does the home suit her or no? I thought that it was surprisingly stunning on the inside. From the outdoor layout of the home, at first you don't know what to expect. My favorite room was definitely her master suite and the unique features like the bright orange front door. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Kiki's LA home down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should feature next on here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!